Wir sind jetzt hier am Stand von General Starlight. Uh, and here with me, your Stan. Hi, Stan. Hi. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again. Uh, this year we have something that's really unique on the market, and it's not only unique; it's also neat. Uh, it is the Quadro S. That's right. Yes. What can you tell me about this? Well, the Quadro S is our product uh, that we uh, introduced approximately five months ago mm -hmm. to uh, military and law enforcement market, and also for um, hunters and. Uh, people who, who just enjoy shooting in general. Um, it's a unique product in the way that uh, it's a combination of uh, thermal and night vision and day camera as well, all in one image. So that's why we call it the compact fusion sight. Mm -hmm. So it has uh, two separate channels. Uh, so I can see here there are two lenses. Yes. They're above one each other. I I've seen this one before. Uh, but for um, for houses, so if you want to look at the house and to have thermal investigation of it, and you have a daytime camera to know where you're looking at, and the thermal gives you the information about the, where the heat is coming out of your house. Heat but I've never ever seen it in something like like hunting cameras or, or rifle scopes or something right. like this. <laughs> yes, yes. And this one is a device. It looks like your Wolfhound series. So I have the same buttons. They're rubberized. They're very good to feel in the dark. Very simple design, you have the same battery compartment, AA batteries, very simple design, uh, but this one is completely different. Yeah, this one is different because we've added uh, a camera that enables you to see in the broad daylight a uh, real image in the visible, invisible, as you would see with, uh, with, the, with the naked eye. With the regular rifle scope, naked eye, whatever you have. Pretty much, yes. So you can move between thermal mode, strictly thermal, to visible and near infrared, which is uh, daytime and nighttime. And there is a unique mode called fusion mode. It's a uh, superposition of both modes all in one image. So I can see, for example, you standing there and everything that is warm is marked that this is warm. So I can easily find you with the thermal signature. Correct. And I can easily recognize you as not only a person, but who you are actually, because I can see your real image. Mm -hmm included or superpositioned above the thermal image. That is correct. So it's uh, you have a, this augmented vision device. So you have information about colors, about uh, other objects that do not emit heat or as much heat, yeah. but you still have uh, information about uh, where the hottest objects are. Yeah, and right. You can easily, easily distinguish them. Is it complicated to be used? No, it's very, very simple because uh, let's say thermal channel, if you're just purely in thermal channel, works exactly the same way as our thermal imaging devices. So when customers purchase it, they say, oh, I know how to use it already. So they no, don't need to read the manual sometimes because all the function, functionality, uh, functionality is the same, menu items are the same. So it's uh, very, very so easy to use. You just push one button and you can say daytime, nighttime, thermal, both. Yeah, so that's, that's it. Just with, the, with one touch of a button, you can go between different modes. It also has a, a light sensor, mm -hmm. and uh, the purpose of it is to automatically or manually switch between uh, day mode and night mode. So, for example, if you are in, in um, an environment when um, lighting conditions change, you have to make sure that you still have, you still see the objects. You still have. Uh, um, or even if I just uh, sit in a sunset and it's yeah. getting dark. Darker, 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 and at, until a, a, a threshold, which you can set it yourself, it switches to night mode automatically. And so I could, for example, look now through the thermal, see there's an animal, then I say, okay, I'm not quite sure what it is. Then I could, for example, use an IR flashlight that I attach to my an accessory rail, turn on the IR flashlight, if you, if you the, need it, yeah. With the night vision mode and say, okay, it's a fox, it's a cat, whatever it is, mm -hmm. switch back to thermal, look for a fox or whatever I want. Exactly. So it's an extremely versatile device. Extremely exactly. powerful. And the, another unique feature is that the fusion mode is completely lag free. So there is no delays between uh, day uh, or night image and, and thermal. You can also adjust amount of thermal you want uh, that is present in the in the image. Mm -hmm. So if you just simply want to see uh, what it looks like in just visible visible light, you can decrease the amount of thermal mm -hmm. 
Just uh, pressing plus just minus. Pressing plus it. minus buttons. Okay, now I see it. Now I want to see where the hottest objects are, and you can increase uh, brightness or let we call it the thermal opacity of uh, thermal channel, and you can have fully working and fully um, fully blown like fusion device. So this one has now an eyepiece in the back, yep. but it also has a rifle mount on the bottom. That's true. That's so true. So I could use it currently as a regular rifle scope. Yep. Just clip it on a rifle and use it as a rifle scope. Correct. I could also use it without the mount, just as an observation device. Mm -hmm. And there's only one thing missing to use it as a clip a, a clip on, so a front attachment. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. So there will yes. be some clip on uh, solution so that I could do a clamp mount and use it as like Th this. That, as well. that is true. And also, this device features a optional uh, video recorder. So with a micro SD card, card in the battery compartment, as we know, as from usual, the phone. as usual, All yeah, right. that, that is right. So you can then um, record and share your hunting experience with friends nice. and tell them everything about this fusion mode. In a configuration like here with uh, IPs for observation or the and or the rifle mount, it is already available. Or it is already available. Okay, it's but been as in man front attachment. We still need to wait a little bit. Yeah, it's coming. It's, it's coming, coming soon. We'll All keep right. you posted. Thank you very much. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate it.